This is week two of my February grocery budget challenge. My goal for the month of February is to only spend $250 or less on groceries for my family of four. We eat a mostly whole food plant-based diet. So not only will I be buying really inexpensive foods, but I am also going to be trying to eat as healthy as possible. On the menu this week for breakfast, I'm going to be making vegan oatmeal berry bars for the kids and the adults are going to be eating protein smoothies. For lunch, I'm going to make potato leek soup. For dinner, I'm going to be making a one pot pasta with broccoli and tomatoes. I'm also going to be making some buffalo cauliflower either as a snack or as a meal replacement for me and my husband one day for maybe lunch instead of the potato leek soup. With my budget being $250 a month, that comes to about $62 a week. Last week I only spent $44, so I have a little bit more wiggle room this week on my budget. Let's go to the grocery store and find out what I end up spending. Here is what I ended up getting. Let me show you what I got at Aldi's first. I spent $11.55 at Aldi's on these onions and a bunch of bananas. I will freeze most of these and then we'll snack on the rest of them. Two things of almond milk, mostly for the smoothies. And they only had these crackers. I'm really disappointed about Aldi in the cracker situation because they don't have the inexpensive crackers that I usually buy that are just like 95 cents. Those were like 215. And so if they would have the crackers that I like, I could save a lot more money. But I did get those because the kids really like crackers in their soup. So this is everything that I got at the local market. This produce was all on sale for just a dollar because it's about to go bad. If I don't eat this in the next day or two, I will just freeze it and we can put it in smoothies. And then these melons were just a dollar. Again, if we don't eat these in the next day or two, I'll freeze it and we can put them in smoothies. And I got this bag of potatoes. For the potato soup, I was going to use like white potatoes, but these are red potatoes and I'm just gonna make the soup with these red potatoes to save a little bit of money. And then I got a leek, some green onions, cilantro. These tomatoes will go in the pasta. Some peppers, celery. These oranges are just gonna be like a snack. Some avocado broccoli, I got three cucumber, a head of cauliflower, 
some lettuce, spinach, and then these were on sale for three for eight dollars. We will not eat all of these this week, but I'm gonna cut them up and freeze them so we can use them in smoothies. These are local strawberries and they were excellent quality this week. So I went ahead and got six of them so I won't have to buy strawberries for a little while. And the final cost for the market was $39.74. So I ended up spending $51.29 on groceries this week. Here's all the stuff that I will be using that I already had. Definitely, I would recommend before you make your grocery list every week to go ahead and check and see what it is that you already have to help save money. Some of the things that I am going to be using is just some of this buffalo wing sauce for the cauliflower. I'll just cut the cauliflower up and make buffalo cauliflower bites. Uh, this is protein stuff. It is actually on sale right now if you're watching this pretty soon after I post it. This one is only $19.98 I think and usually they're like $33 to $45. So I'll link this down below but if you like chocolate protein powder. It's just this exact chocolate protein and greens one. Uh, I would maybe, now would be a good time to try it. Flax seeds, nutritional yeast, all these spices. These are some leftover white potatoes that I have that I'll throw in the potato soup with the red potatoes. Some blueberries for, I'm going to put some of these in with the berry bars and then freeze the rest of them and then vegetable broth this was a freebie I actually shop with instacart some to make a little bit of extra money and sometimes people cancel their order after I've already shopped it so I get some free groceries so that's where this vegetable broth came from I actually got a total of four of them and then that's actually where the blueberries came from also this banza pasta, I got it on sale at Publix several weeks ago. It was BOGO. This is so much better than regular pasta. It has a lot more protein and definitely don't feel guilty about eating this type of pasta. I've had these peanuts forever, so I'm going to use them as the nuts for the oatmeal bars and then oatmeal. I got this at Publix a long time ago as a BOGO deal also. So I'm going to put a lot of this stuff away and then get busy meal prepping. I will be posting links to all these recipes down below. So if you want to recreate any of them, you can. So all the food is done. Let me kind of show you everything. These are the oat and berry bars. I tried some and they're very good. Uh, the kids will eat these for breakfast along with a piece of fruit of some sort. My husband and I will most days have a protein smoothie instead of the berry bars and we'll just put a scoop of this protein powder some flax seeds and then some frozen fruit banana strawberries blueberries some sort of mixture of fruit this is the potato soup it turned out really well it says to use an immersion blender to blend it up when you get done, but I don't have one, so I just mashed it with a potato masher, and that worked just fine. Uh, and we'll eat that with some crackers and nutritional yeast. Some days I will probably have a buffalo cauliflower salad with this buffalo cauliflower, and then a bunch of different type of salad stuff. I'll just throw it in a bowl. And then this is the pasta meal with the broccoli and tomatoes and spinach and I just ate a bowl of this and it is super good. All of this food will feed my family for this whole week and I do not have to cook anymore.
So that wraps up week two of my grocery budget challenge. So far, I have spent $95 this month on the first two weeks of February. My budget was $250, but I'm thinking I can do it on $200. So we'll see how the rest of the month goes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.